So it took 12 years for the crypto market to hit $1 trillion. It took 18 months for it to hit $2 trillion. And now here we are just this week at less than 10 months, we are now at $3 trillion. So this is the expansion that I was speaking about. This is the growth that I was speaking about. Welcome back, YouTube. Um, I wanted to take a deep dive into the resistance level that we're seeing here at 25 cents with Dogecoin, because I believe it's important for us to um, kind of like zoom out and uh, we'll zoom out and look at the overall charts and compare it to some other coins as well. Because I honestly, I, I get a lot of comments and emails saying that, okay, I'm a bit frustrated with the movement and why things are appearing to be a little stagnant so we're going to look at the charts here and do some comparisons over two different points in time in crypto to kind of prove the case that this is actually normal and this is actually great that we're actually getting these consolidation points and these and this strong resistance because this resistance here um, at 25 cents has over the course of time is like super saiyan level god like it is it is absolutely holding up um great and if for a stock i either want a stock or a crypto i want my stock either going up or sideways so i have i don't mind this sideways movement at all from dogecoin and even as i said in previous videos i believe that if everyone if people for the people that purchased above 25 cents if they average down now and get in and pretty much bring their average down close to around 25 cents that'll be fine like when you have these long periods of consolidation there's no reason um, for you to sit there at a higher DCA and then you have to even if you want to exit or if you want to take profits on that next um, Run when we test the 33 cents resistance, then this is a great time to do so so um, In previous videos I did uh, go over like as far as for the chart mirroring itself from earlier this year and we have that long period that kind of drags out and uh, pretty much just seems almost like a straight line almost if you zoom out enough and you'll pretty much have that range where you're gonna bounce between the floor and the ceiling. So for Dogecoin, that's gonna be like 24, 25, and that ceiling, that hard cap is gonna be around 32, 33 cents. And after that, we would reach some more resistance at around 43 based off of history. But we um, ultimately, we are testing the bottom of uh, the floor quite frequently here, which is the 25 cents. And pretty much what that indicates is you either have like a, a whale selling off or uh, the people of the community believe that 25 cents is a great value and simply it just becomes oversold at that point and people begin and people are comfortable buying at around a quarter and that just kind of gives it like that equilibrium or that fair market evaluation and that is like pretty much the starting point for the next bull run that's the uh, takeoff point and we've seen here over the course of history that we can we will break through briefly uh we'll dip down i know because um, i purchased a few in the teens but it's very short-lived and we'll bounce back up we'll have that run we'll go test the ceiling again and then we'll consolidate again around the 25 cents range but what i did want to compare it to because i love making these comparisons when people say that uh doge is dead or um they're running out of patience we can see this from years ago. Now, again, these charts, I do believe, will change just because of the of volume of investors that are, excuse me, are, are running into the market. But you'll see over periods of time, you'll have that floor and you'll come down. You have, you have that range, excuse me. And for a coin, even like Bitcoin, like years ago, it's just like 2018, you'll see you'll have that range, like that three to seven, and it'll come down, it'll test it, go sideways for a bit. And come up and test that ceiling again which is all which in that ceiling that it was was actually lower than its previous um, high of around 16 back in 2017 so we're seeing very similar action right now where we have the floor and we have the ceiling and the ceiling is lower than the all-time high and it'll test it and it'll knock back down and it'll go sideways again and we'll have like those those occasional little dips and of course that happens that typically happens a few times before the rip um this happens you can take this and compare it to many other coin many other coins that have uh, been out for a while and you'll see similar uh, patterns and i say this to especially the top 10 coins and i made a post about this on twitter today 
And I said this in one of my older videos. I said that crypto is in its infancy stages. It took 12 years for the crypto market to hit $1 trillion. It took 18 months for it to hit $2 trillion. And now here we are just this week at less than 10 months, we are now at $3 trillion. So this is the expansion that I was speaking about. This is the growth that I was speaking about. When, you, when you're invested in these coins, like I know a lot of some people are invested for short term, but you have to think about long term as well. What the, what are the value of these coins? Uh, what is the value of a Dogecoin, uh, Ethereum, or a Bitcoin with a $10 trillion um, overall market cap, $15 trillion? And the stock market has a $100 trillion roughly uh, market cap. So even right now at $3 trillion, the uh, crypto market is only roughly about 3% of the um, trading market when, when, it, when compared to the stock market. So we have a lot of room that we can actually grow. So when you are investing in these coins, think long term, at least like five years and ask yourself, OK, I'm investing in these coins, particularly the top 10. Um, what is the evaluation of these coins going to be at $10 trillion? And then you will have the uh, the answers and, and uh, really just look a lot of the it'll answer a lot of the questions that you have as far as your patience and you'll have the opportunity to be one of the crypto millionaires. I believe there's a lot of crypto millionaires that are loading right now and it's going to be absolutely incredible it's going to be absolutely crazy to um actually have uh be a part of that so i'm excited for everyone i'm excited for everyone to be a part of it and i think that it's going to be an exciting times ahead and i also wanted to say uh, when we're testing the 25 cents range that is actually that is not a bad sign at all 25 cents is a great place to be um we're consolidating at roughly 30 33 percent um, of the all-time high, which is re a really strong, and that's a really bullish symbol. We did not crash back down to like the, some of the first resistance levels, which was like 10 cents and 5 cents. We're holding strong at 25 cents. That is a very bullish sign. So don't be discouraged. Um, don't follow like a lot of the hype. Do your own research. Look at the charts, as always. Um, again, I just share my thoughts and my uh, feelings when I look at the numbers here. And if I were to see something change or feel differently, of course, I would let you guys know. So uh, just by all means, do your own research, compare to some of the other coins and let me know if you see anything that's familiar with it. But um, this is completely normal and that 25 cents is actually doing us a favor. It is um, pretty much allowing people to average down and giving them more time to get their coin count up. And it's also, again, when you come down and test a, um, a floor three, four, five, six, seven times and you bounce back up or you hold steady, very bullish, um, very bullish sign. So don't be discouraged by that. Um, if you found anything that you uh, found value in this video, or if you liked anything I had to say, please consider subscribing. Uh, we are pushing for 40,000 subscribers. That's my goal by the end of the year. So I would love for you to be a part of the roughly 3,000, 4,000 subscribers that I need to make that happen. Um, I appreciate all of you. Thank you. And until next time.